The discovery of the pyramids in ancient human settlements under Antarctica has completely revolutionized our understanding of human history and the world we live in. These remarkable findings have sparked worldwide curiosity and excitement, leading to countless discussions and theories about their origins and significance. The possibility of an advanced civilization that existed in Antarctica around 100 million years ago, the period when the dinosaurs existed on Earth, has sent shivers down people's spines, making us rethink what we know about the capabilities of humans and their ability to adapt and thrive in the harshest environments. The discovery of an intricate underground river system, teeming with shrimp-like creatures and colossal subterranean caves, sent shockwaves through the scientific community. It was a place where even the most fearless explorers were scared to go. Moreover, the discovery of the gigantic underground structures in Antarctica, with very advanced buildings, has fueled speculation about their origins, with some believing them to be evidence of an advanced ancient civilization, while others suggest they are the remnants of extraterrestrial life or a top-secret military installation. These monumentous discoveries have opened up a whole new chapter in human history and exploration, reminding us that there is still so much to learn about our world and the mysteries it holds. According to Joe Rogan and Graham Hancock, people don't know how important this discovery of a city beneath the Antarctic ice really is. So, scientists made an amazing discovery in the icy regions of Antarctica. They found a group of pyramids that were buried under thick layers of ice. This discovery surprised the scientific community and captured the attention of people around the world. Many people believe that the pyramids are evidence of an ancient civilization that used to exist on the continent a long time ago. The discovery of pyramids in Antarctica came about when a team of researchers from the University of Cambridge were conducting a routine study of the ice shelf. Their goal was to investigate how changes in ice thickness affected the environment. However, during their study, they stumbled upon an unexpected find, a series of pyramids hidden beneath the thick layers of ice. The team saw something strange while flying over the area, triangles sticking out from the ice. They called their base right away to tell them what they saw. The team was told to go to a research station close by to find out more. There, a group of experts from different fields were put together to investigate the strange structures. These fields included the study of rocks, old artifacts, and the weather. The team faced many problems as they began their trip to investigate the pyramids. The first and most obvious one was the extreme weather, with temperatures going way below negative 40 degrees Celsius. To stay safe, they had to wear special gear to keep warm and move slowly so they wouldn't get dangerously cold. The second problem was the thick ice covering the pyramids. They believed that the ice covering the pyramids might be several hundred meters in thickness and therefore utilized specialized equipment to create a map of what lay beneath it. Experts have used ground-penetrating radar, which uses high-frequency radio waves to create an image of the subsurface. This technology has allowed researchers to map out the internal structure of the pyramids, identify hidden chambers or passages, and gain insights into how the pyramids were constructed. Experts spent many months looking into the pyramids and finally made an important discovery. They found out that the pyramids were built using a special rock that was not available nearby and made them think that an advanced civilization must have built them and had the ability to transport large rocks over long distances. The team also found several rooms inside the pyramids that they believed had different purposes. During their investigation, the team discovered a weird liquid in a chamber that could destroy germs. The discovery led them to believe that the civilization who built the pyramids in Antarctica might have been much more advanced than previously thought. In another room, the team found inscriptions that resembled those seen in ancient Egyptian pyramids. This led the team to hypothesize that the civilization who built the pyramids in Antarctica might have had some connection to ancient Egypt. When the pyramids were discovered under the ice in Antarctica, it caught the attention of the whole world. They were talking about it on social media, and the news was reported by many major media outlets worldwide. There were different theories about what it could mean. Some people thought it was proof of life beyond Earth or advanced civilizations from other planets, while others believed it might be the remains of a lost civilization that managed to survive in Antarctica. The discovery of the pyramids in Antarctica drew the attention of the scientific community. Researchers presented their findings at different conferences worldwide, and they published papers in respected scientific journals. The discovery renewed people's interest in studying ancient civilizations and Antarctica's archaeology. The finding of the pyramids in Antarctica sparked discussions among experts about ethical concerns. Some believed that it was not appropriate to disturb the pyramids and the valuable information they could provide to comprehend the continent's past. Meanwhile, others argued that the discovery should be a chance to increase people's awareness of the significance of preserving the vulnerable Antarctic environment and advocating for sustainable measures to conserve it for generations to come. Graham Hancock is a British author and researcher who wrote several books about alternative history and archaeology. And he was on a podcast with Joe Rogan, where they have discussed this discovery as well. 
Graham suggests that there might be lost ancient civilizations and that Antarctica may have important clues about human civilization's history. He believes that Antarctica used to be habitable and might have been destroyed by a catastrophic event about thousands of years ago. He also thinks that ancient civilizations might have had advanced knowledge and technologies that we do not know about now. Hancock cites evidence such as megalithic structures and artifacts to support his theories. However, not everyone agrees with his idea. According to Joe Rogan and Graham Hancock, it is weird that Antarctica was present on ancient maps, even though we did not discover it until 1820. These maps, which date back to the 1500s, were very detailed and were based on even older maps that are no longer available. The Pinkerton world map from 1813 or 1818, for example, shows a hole where Antarctica is located because no one had found it yet. However, if you look at maps like the Waltzy Willow world map from 1530 or the Orontius Phineas map, you can see that Antarctica is accurately depicted in its current location, even though it had not yet been discovered by explorers. So, the discovery of the pyramids in Antarctica was a significant event in history for archaeologists and scientists. It made us rethink what we knew about ancient civilizations and their ability to survive in harsh environments. Additionally, it sparked important discussions about the ethics of studying archaeological sites and the need to balance scientific inquiry with preserving natural and cultural heritage. The team who found the pyramids under the Antarctic ice is continuing to study them. They want to learn more about the civilization that built them. The researchers are also exploring the surrounding area to see if there are any structures that have not been found yet. It is important to note that evidence of ancient human settlements has been found in Antarctica recently. This includes the discovery of tools and other items that suggest humans lived in the region in the past. The discovery of human settlements in Antarctica is an important discovery because it changes what we know about how humans lived on Earth. People used to think that Antarctica was too harsh for humans to survive, but finding settlements there tells us that humans could live in even the harshest environments. The discovery of human settlements on Antarctica also has importance in understanding human migration and colonization history. By examining the tools and artifacts left behind by early humans, scientists can learn more about how our ancestors adapted to different environments and cope with the challenges they faced as the environment changed over time. The recent discovery of ancient human settlements in Antarctica is not the only surprising finding in the area. Scientists have also uncovered evidence of microbial life, as well as hidden waterways and lakes beneath the ice. These discoveries are fascinating and offer a lot of knowledge to researchers and explorers studying the region. It is worth mentioning that the finding of ancient human settlements in Antarctica is a remarkable achievement that has enhanced our understanding of human and world history. It showcases the resilience and adaptability of humans and serves as a reminder that life can thrive in the most extreme environments. There are scientists who propose the idea of ancient civilizations who lived in the Antarctic with advanced technology around 100 million years ago. The concept of pyramids in Antarctica fits into this narrative because pyramids are often associated with ancient civilizations that possessed advanced knowledge and technology. In particular, the pyramids of Egypt are often cited as evidence of such advanced capabilities. The idea of pyramids in Antarctica, therefore, adds to the overall narrative of ancient civilizations with advanced technology. Looking back 100 million years ago, the Earth looked very different than it does today. The planet was in the midst of the Cretaceous period, which is known for its warm and humid climate, as well as being the time when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. It is essential to note that during the Cretaceous period, the Earth's continents were grouped together into one massive supercontinent called Pangaea. Over time, this supercontinent began to break apart into smaller land masses, which eventually led to the formation of the seven continents we know today. The climate during the Cretaceous period was much warmer and more humid than it is now. There were no ice caps at the poles, and the sea levels were much higher than they are today. This means that much of the land was submerged underwater, forming shallow seas and vast swamps. Many parts of what is now North America and Europe were covered in lush rainforests, while large portions of Asia and Africa were deserts. The oceans during this time were filled with a variety of marine life, including mollusks, fish, sharks, and marine reptiles, such as plesiosaurs and ichthyosaurs. The skies were home to several types of birds, as well as pterosaurus, which were winged reptiles that flew above the land and sea. One of the most well-known aspects of the Cretaceous period is, of course, the dinosaurs. These prehistoric creatures roamed the Earth for millions of years, ranging in size from tiny bird-like creatures to massive beasts such as the Tyrannosaurus rex and the Triceratops. Many of these dinosaurs lived in the forests and swamps, while others roamed the plains and deserts. In addition to the dinosaurs, there were also many other types of animals that lived during this time, including crocodiles, turtles, and small mammals. 
Many of these creatures were the ancestors of the animals we know today, and studying them has given us valuable insights into the evolution of life on Earth. Furthermore, experts have made another fascinating discovery in Antarctica that they believe changes the history of this place. In recent years, there have been reports of gigantic underground constructions discovered in Antarctica, which has sparked great interest and speculation. While some believe these to be the remnants of an ancient civilization, others propose that they are evidence of extraterrestrial life or a top-secret military installation. Regardless of their origin, the discovery of these massive underground structures has captured the imagination of scientists and enthusiasts alike. The discovery of these underground structures was made possible through the use of ground-penetrating radar and satellite imaging. These technologies allowed researchers to view a detailed image of the area beneath the ice, revealing the presence of large, geometric structures. These structures, some of which measure up to several miles in length, have been likened to monumental constructions. The discovery of these structures has led to a lot of speculation and theories about their origin. Some have proposed that they are evidence of an advanced ancient civilization that once inhabited Antarctica. They believe that these structures could be the remnants of a once great city, similar to the ancient ruins found in Egypt and other parts of the world. Others have suggested that the structures could be evidence of extraterrestrial life. They believe that the geometric shapes and sizes of the structures indicate that they are not natural formations and could only have been created by intelligent beings. Some have even gone so far as to suggest that the structures were created by aliens as a form of communication or even as a base of operations. There are also those who propose that the structures could be part of a top-secret military installation. They believe that the underground structures could be used for a variety of purposes, such as storing weapons, conducting experiments, or serving as a base of operations for covert operations. Also, Antarctica may seem like an unlikely place to find fossils. However, it is home to some of the most significant fossil discoveries in the world. These fossils provide valuable insights into the prehistoric past and evolution of life on Earth. Fossil discoveries in Antarctica include remains of dinosaurs, giant marine reptiles, and even ancient forests. The fossils were found in sedimentary rocks that were laid down during the time when Antarctica was still a forested landmass. Antarctica is one of the most challenging and rewarding places to search for fossils. The continent's extreme conditions make it difficult to work there, but the rewards are enormous. Every fossil discovery brings us one step closer to understanding the history of life on our planet, said David Elliott, a paleontologist at the National Science Foundation. One of the most famous Antarctic fossils is that of the Cryolophosaurus, a carnivorous dinosaur that lived during the early Jurassic period. Its name means frozen crested lizard and is one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs to have been found in Antarctica. The discovery of the Cryolophosaurus has provided important insights into the diversity of dinosaurs during the early Jurassic period. Another noticeable fossil discovery in Antarctica is that of the Elasmosaurus, a giant marine reptile that lived in the Cretaceous period. The Elasmosaurus had an incredibly long neck with over 70 vertebrae, which made up around half of its total length. The discovery of the Elasmosaurus in Antarctica was significant because it provided evidence that the continent was once connected to other land masses, such as South America. In addition to these large fossils, Antarctica has also yielded numerous smaller fossils, such as plants and insects. One of the most significant discoveries in this category is that of the petrified forest in the Trans-Antarctic Mountains. The forest is believed to date back to the Permian period, around 280 million years ago, making it one of the oldest forests ever discovered. The fossil discoveries in Antarctica have provided valuable insight into our prehistoric past and the evolution of life on Earth. They have helped to fill in gaps in our understanding of the history of life on our planet and shed light on the processes that have shaped it over millions of years. Antarctica provides us with a unique opportunity to study the evolution of life in an isolated, extreme environment. The fossils we find there are often incredibly well preserved, which allows us to learn more about the ancient life forms from the conditions in which they lived, said Jane Francis, a geologist and director of the British Antarctic Survey. Moreover, a team of scientists made a groundbreaking discovery in Antarctica. The Gambertsoff Mountains, a range of subglacial mountains located in East Antarctica. The discovery of these mountains challenged previous assumptions about the nature of the continent and provided new insights into the history and formation of Antarctica. The Gambertsoff Mountains were first discovered using ice penetrating radar, which allowed scientists to map the contours of the mountains beneath the ice. The range is approximately 750 miles long and 120 miles wide, with peaks rising to over 8,000 feet above sea level. Despite their size, the Gambertsoff Mountains had remained hidden from view for millions of years, buried beneath the vast expanse of the East Antarctic Ice Sheet. 
The Gambertsoft Mountains discovery is a game changer for us in terms of understanding how the interior of the continent works and how it's affected by the ice sheet, said Robin Bell, a geophysicist at Columbia University's Le Mont Doherty Earth Observatory, who was part of the research team that discovered the mountains. The discovery of the Gambertsoft Mountains was a significant achievement in the field of Antarctic research. Prior to this discovery, it was believed that East Antarctica was a flat, featureless expanse with no significant topographical features. The discovery of the Gombertsov Mountains challenged this assumption and opened up new avenues for research into the geological history of the continent. One of the most interesting aspects of the Gambertsov Mountains is their age. Based on analysis of the ice and rock samples collected from the range, scientists estimate that the mountains are around 1 billion years old, making them some of the oldest mountains on Earth. The mountains also provide insights into the process of mountain building, which is poorly understood in geology. Another important aspect of the discovery of the Gumbertsoff Mountains is its implications for the study of climate change. The mountains act as a barrier that separates the ice of West Antarctica from the ice of East Antarctica. Understanding the dynamics of this boundary is critical for predicting the behavior of the ice sheets and the potential impact on global sea levels. In addition to their scientific significance, the Gumbertsoff Mountains are culturally significant. The range is named after Gregory Gambertsov, a Soviet geophysicist who made important contributions to the study of Antarctica. The discovery of the Gambertsov Mountains is a testament to the importance of the international scientific collaboration and ongoing efforts to understand and protect our planet. The discovery of the Gambertsov Mountains is a testament to the power of collaboration and international scientific cooperation. It is a remarkable achievement that required the skills and expertise of scientists from around the world, said Duncan Wingham, a professor of climate physics at University College London, a former chief executive of the Natural Environment Research Council in the UK. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.